In this tutorial, you'll learn how to make cut up vocals. To push it on a new track, import vocals.wav, which is a sample from vocalist DMO. Note that we've pre warped this sample to save you the hassle of getting it in time. It's out of key though, so set the transpose to plus four semitones. I can see the way that you look at me, it makes my body laugh. Do you know just what it is you do to me? Now cut out and arrange the parts of the vocal that you want to use. We use everything up to the line, would you ever let go, and the single line, so push it higher. So push it higher. If there are parts where you want to alter the vocal timing, this can be achieved by adding and moving the warp markers. We do this to elongate the er uh of higher for use in a transition. Similarly, you can change the actual notes of the vocal by cutting out a note that you want to change and using the clips, transpose and detune parameters. Now make a new MIDI channel and insert Live's Impulse drum sampler. Go through the vocal file and cut out tiny segments and put them into Impulse's 8 slots. Usually you'll want to use single syllables that don't sound like real words. Use the transpose and stretch parameters to make it sound unnatural and use the pan control to get a scattered selection of sounds. The sounds can be triggered with MIDI notes starting at C3, so program a funky pattern that complements the rest of the tune. Our MIDI for this is in the Tutorial Files folder. This creates a great texture because the formant of the vocals is altered and it doesn't sound natural, so it can easily sit alongside the original vocal sample as an additional sonic layer. So push it high, high. 